For the question arises here how ATP gives energy. Why this ATP molecule loses phosphate easily thereby giving energy? And also how this biochemical reaction occurs? Let's find out in this video. The structure of ATP molecule explains all the answers. We see ATP molecule is made up of different type of molecules. It has got an adenine base, a ribose molecule and three phosphates linked to ribose in a linear fashion. So this makes ATP molecule that's adenosine triphosphate and these three quantities these three elements are linked together like adenine it's linked with ribose and ribose it links with three phosphates but the three phosphates are linked to each other in a linear fashion this makes the ATP molecule the three phosphates are denoted by alpha phosphate which is directly attached to the ribose sugar then we have a beta phosphate which is attached to the alpha phosphate and finally the last phosphate the terminal phosphate is termed as gamma phosphate on which we will be concentrating more in this lecture now we will see how this water molecule hydrolyzes the atp molecule so that it loses the phosphate molecule inorganic phosphate in this reaction we know we have a water molecule it has got two lone pairs as you can see in this diagram the lone pair interacts with the phosphorus molecule that's it attacks the phosphorus molecule in this manner and there's a shifting of electrons first the double bond it shifts to the oxygen and then there is a bond between oxygen and phosphorus there's phosphoanhydride bond it breaks down because the phosphorus has only capability to make five bonds and with this molecule it's making the sixth bond but that's not possible that's why the, sh the electron pair shifts towards the oxygen atom and breaks the phosphoanhydride bond here so by the hydrolysis of this atp molecule the atp gives up one phosphate group here there's the terminal gamma phosphate and also we get another molecule here in the form of adp because as atp loses one phosphate group it becomes then diphosphate that's adenosine diphosphate that's recycled back again as we have seen in the atp cycle also it must be noted here by the hydrolysis of this atp molecule we saw a phosphoanhydride bond was broken down and the energy stored in this bond is released for use in cellular process it's not the phosphate group that gives off the energy it is the bond between oxygen and phosphorus that gives off the energy now we are going to discuss the following questions why this atp molecule loses phosphate easily there is a second question why this phosphoanhydride bond which is coated high energy bond is so weak and ultimately we will find out why this ATP molecule is highly unstable molecule than ADP molecule. As we see the ATP molecular structure we see three phosphates are linked in a linear order as you can see in the structure of ATP and on these individual phosphate groups the phosphate groups that are linked to the ribose sugar they have got oxygen molecule with negative charge and all the three oxygen molecules of phosphate groups have negative charge on them so it's those three highly negative groups together that makes the terminal gamma phosphate vulnerable to hydrolysis so a negative negative repulsion occurs here and terminal phosphate is always in unstable state and when water molecule comes in the water interacts with the terminal phosphate and it's happy to leave the stressed zone and finally the bond is broken down and remember it is the negative negative repulsion that aids for the tremendous amount of chemical potential energy which is stored with phosphoanhydride bond as you can see the phosphoanhydride bond between the two phosphates and it's this bond that stores energy and it must be noted here phosphoanhydride bond is also called high energy bond because it yields high energy but it's weak bond due to unstability of molecule this was all about how ATP works how it generates energy and hydrolysis of ATP I hope you like this video if you like it give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe this channel thanks